Hi everyone and welcome back and this is another Lattice 2 video for the Power Series and this time we're going to go over spreadsheets and multiple values in that. So how to control multiple values. In the previous video we learned how to take the part cube as a demonstration and attach that to a Lattice 2 Power Series by clicking on it and coming into Lattice 2, coming down to Series Feature and add in the power series. It will complain about the recomputing being disabled. We just continue that and we'll sort that in a minute. The cube will disappear. Now, before we used this values here, so the value source as values, and we was using single values in there. We can use multiple values. So we can do that from the value source. And to do that, we need to come into the value source and first of all, let's have a look at that cube and look at what parameters we got in here. So the properties we can get to, we've got length, width, and height. So we can use those three. Before I think I was changing the length, I'm gonna change the length and width this time. To do that, we'll use, we can use the spreadsheet or we can use the values. Let's use the values first. And instead of just placing values along here like so, what we do this time is place a value then a semicolon for the next value. So one by 23, three by one, four by 100, and five by eight. And I've put a colon rather than a semicolon there. Let's put a colon there. So there's no spaces. It's just value, semicolon, value. And okay that. We've got the value sources value property at the moment. And the other thing we have to do is actually add the properties that we want to affect with a semicolon as well. So we're matching the two lists. So I'm gonna go for box dot length, semicolon box dot height. And set the recomputing as enabled. And you can see how those have taken effect there. So we've got those children in that power series with those different parameters in there. And if you go back to the first video on this power series, you'll see how to place that along different arrays. So along a linear array, just by coming up here, adding a linear array and attaching it to it. And you can place that across those. Now, when it comes to spreadsheets, let's come over to the spreadsheet. It's a very similar process. We create a spreadsheet. We add our values in here because we're using two values. We need the semicolon 10, 23, 11, 22. Just put two in here for the time being. So we've got the spreadsheet now. Let's come back to the power series. And I'm going to come in and turn the recomputing to recompute once. Now there's a reason for this because if I change anything when it's enabled, such as the values, you can see straight away, I clicked on the values because I changed something before it's recomputed, it's gone back in there. And this can be quite annoying. So for instance, if I come down and change the count, which is the lattice power series for the generator, we're not using that at the moment, and change that to four, click off, it disappears. So I'm just going to change the recompution of that power series, if I can find it, recomputing, as recompute once. What happens is that when I make any changes, then swaps back over to recompute. And then when you come back in, you can see that it's now disabled. So why it's disabled, I can come in and say, clear out the list. Okay, change the value source to spreadsheet this time. And when we click in the spreadsheet link, we get these three dots in the button. I can click that, pick my spreadsheet. Okay. So we've got that in there. We've got our values, come back. Now we set the recomputing to recompute once and click off. And now our spreadsheet has kicked in and we've got the two children in there in that power series, which we can do exactly the same as what we did in the previous video in the last two workbench, add our arrays, and then click on, the, say, the polar array, 
control click the power series and then use the populate with children hit continue and that's populated with those children in there and make sure we hide the power series and also make sure the cube is hidden as well whatever we add to the spreadsheet now one colon one three colon four etc when we come back we need to recompute so we go down recomputing disabled recompute once click off and they've been added in there remember we can use additional placement so we've got the placement here to place those correctly if needs be hope you enjoyed that video and hope to see you again soon if you like what you're seeing, please subscribe to the site. I also have a Ko-Fi or a coffee site that you can donate to if you so desire. And that's at ko-fi.com forward slash M-A-N-G-0. I also run a Patreon where you can subscribe and get extra content. And that's at www.patreon.com forward slash mango jelly solutions. Any money that's kindly donated will be used to expand the channel. Thanks a lot for watching and subscribing and I'll see you again soon.